Well, we've just stopped off at Ibrook Reservoir on our way to Rutland Water this morning. We haven't been here for quite a while and it can be quite a hot spot for birds. In fact, a spoonbill has been spotted here uh, quite recently. No spoonbill today, just lapwing, mute swans, cormorant. we have actually moved up to the opposite end of the reservoir now. And uh, this end of the reservoir is just on the uh, Rutland uh, Leicestershire border and uh, looking out um, the majority of birds are up this end we've got heron, greylag geese and uh, lapwing and uh, looking up into the uh, leaden autumn skies we've got um, red kite well uh, by the time we get to Rutland Water the uh, Eggleton Reserve should be open so off we go well here we are at Rutland Water, the Eggleton Reserve. The Linden part of the reserve is closed during the winter time. There's some excellent habitat here from uh, mature woodland. And uh, some of the leaves are still managing to uh, hang on despite the gales. There's also large expanses of uh, rich mud which is excellent for waders. Not many waders on view today though. Also uh, wetlands just on the edge of the uh, larger areas of water and of course reed bed we seem to be stuck in a rut of uh, constant gales and storms that uh, are blowing in from uh, the Atlantic and as you can see and probably hear on the soundtrack it is very windy today but the sun did try and break through and every now and then the clouds parted to reveal some blue sky well we've just purchased our permits uh, from the visitor centre and up on the roof of the centre we've got a pretty good view of a male kestrel just heading out onto the reserve the woodland paths are now closed for the winter the bird hides can be accessed from this path which has just been resurfaced so it doesn't flood anymore and looking out we've got uh, yet more lapwing uh, the collective noun for lapwing I think I've mentioned before is a deceit or a desert of lapwing I mentioned a few more collective nouns as we go along you can have a flight of cormorant We've got some Egyptian geese here. Any kind of geese on water is known as a, a plump of geese. Got a gadwall just uh, swimming by. And uh, lesser black backed gull. And also, not too far away, a moorhen. I couldn't find a collective noun for moorhens. A few more ducks about. There's a shell duck pair there. And a female uh, shoveler and a male shoveler. And. Uh, Mallard. There's lots of variations of collective nouns for ducks. You can have a paddling of ducks, a raft of ducks, a sword of ducks, a team of ducks. Take your pick. And this is uh, excellent. These are pintail. I haven't seen any pintail uh, for quite a while. And I've uh, got males and females there. What a handsome duck that is. And uh, the day continued to improve when this great white egret flew in. And I uh, haven't seen one of these birds since uh, much earlier in the year at Summerlees. Well as is tradition on these films I'm going to leave the best till last. I'm actually here with uh, my friend uh, Mick, uh, nicknamed the Hawkeye uh, because he's really good at spotting things and today's no exception. He's uh, actually uh, managed to spot this. Just pop the camera on a tripod, get a steadier shot. Go. It's actually a, a short-eared owl, and I've been trying to film a short-eared owl and get decent footage for ages. I'm just going to creep back down the path to where it is, and uh, there's a pair of double wooden gates there. Um, just pop my camera over the top of the gates and find the bird on the uh, flip-out screen. I've only ever been able to get um, a silhouette shot of a short-eared owl uh, flying, but... Uh, Never dreamed that I'd come here today and, and get uh, as close as this. Excellent. You just never know what you're going to see next. That's why I love this hobby. See you next time.